A lot of news to get into, and obviously Survivor Series is taking place later on today, by the time all of you are listening to this. After SmackDown, we actually have all of the matches, including the T-shirt Battle Royal match. Yes, T-shirt Battle Royal. Dual those are always brand, those are always those are always fun. Dual brand battle royal is the pre-show opener, and man, between Survivor Series and uh, Raw show and the SmackDown show, I have no idea why the draft is in October. The draft should just be at the end of the year. You do your Survivor Series. You, do, you, you know what? You should. It should be. It should be like a week or two after WrestleMania, because that's really your reset period. Is right after. Well, yeah, you can do that too. But I'm just saying, like normally, the reason I say the end of the year is you do Survivor Series, you do your inner brand matches, you do your whole thing, and then you mix everybody up, and you've got everybody on their brands heading into the Royal Rumble. It's a time of the year where no one's watching. It's December. May as well have some hook for December. Yeah. I mean, uh, didn't they do some of that already? Like, I don't know. I, I I think that the time of the year should be should be like like two three weeks after WrestleMania is the best time to do this. Um, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's just weird because they do it and then they have Survivor Series and then they like. I mean, it's it just it was bizarre on watching SmackDown and have Michael Cole push. That you know, Survivor Series is the only time of the year where Raw and SmackDown people compete against each other, and there you're watching this TV show with you know Raw people all over the TV show. The New Day was wrestling. Drew McIntyre wrestled on the show last week. It's just like it's it's. Um, Dude, I told you they were going to hype it up like that. It's so bizarre. It's like whatever. it makes but, no sense. Well, I mean, no, it makes no sense. It, it makes no sense. It holds no water. But they just do what they do. I mean, it's just like they read off, you know. I, I wonder how, like, you know, because, like, Michael Cole must be sitting there thinking, like, what an idiot I look, I, I sound like. Because, obviously, like, more than anyone, he knows that he's calling a match between Raw and SmackDown people while saying that Survivor Series is the only time that Raw and SmackDown people, you know, will face each other. So he, it's like, he's got to feel like, isn't this ridiculous what I have to say? But, you know, it's his job to say it. So, Dude, we not, had an angle it, on SmackDown where the New Day comes out, who, of course, are on Raw. And then Corbin comes out and he's yelling at them, like, why are you here? And literally, Xavier says, we're here because... We, we, were, we were invited. We, no, he didn't even say that. He said, we're visiting. And they moved on. Yeah. I was like, well, I didn't know you could just visit. I mean, everyone should visit then. Especially they because... Were, they, were ta they were talking. They, they mentioned that they were invited. Oh, by Big E that they didn't do one segment with on SmackDown? Can you imagine? They never said they never said who invited them. They just said that they were invited. You know, it's just like it's like the, they were invited by the anonymous inviters. Adam Pierce. I mean, it could be Adam Pierce. They never said Adam Pierce called us. They just said we were invited. You know, you think about this storyline, which is if you're on Raw, but you want to wrestle on SmackDown, it has to be an unsanctioned match, which means it doesn't count on your record. It's only like, once, only once, because they've gone on Raw and they've done, they've they've gone back on that too. They only did it once, which made no sense because every other time it's a, it, it they never they, they've only said it's an unsanctioned match once, which was the Braun Strowman, Keith Lee original match. Everything else has been. Um, I think there know, was one last week that was also an unsanctioned match. I'm almost positive mm -hmm. whoever showed up on SmackDown last week, Adam Pearce said the same thing. Last week was Drew McIntyre and Jey Uso. Yeah, and I think Drew Mc Drew McIntyre was told something like, "You can be here tonight," but I forget the term that Adam Pierce used. But regardless, well, he, here's he a sure, lineup he, for he sure he sure wrestled Jey Uso. Here's a lineup for this uh, Survivor Series show. It's Team Raw: AJ Styles, Keith Lee, Sheamus, Braun Strowman, and Riddle against Kevin Owens, Jey Uso, King Corbin, Seth Rollins, and Otis. Who didn't even qualify? He, he was just, just put on the team by Adam Pierce. They couldn't even, they didn't have time. Well, you know, that's the truth. Honestly, God, they didn't have time. They, they didn't have time for, for two more matches to get Bailey and Otis on, so that's what they did. I mean, I mean it's not I, like they've had weeks to get the teams together. It's not like they haven't had weeks, and it's not like, you know, it's not the, okay, so here's the thing. No, for, you know, when you go through the whole thing, it's not the greatest time management. However, SmackDown's been really good the last few weeks, and I thought that, that Friday Night SmackDown was really good. So it's like, at this point, I'm willing to accept a really good show and overlook the fact that 
um, there's incredible amount of you know it's it's like booking contradictions where you have to earn your way on i can't just put you on remember braun Strowman? i can't just put you on i wish i could and then the same adam pierce is putting two people on with no um because he's just putting them on all right so the rest of this lineup here we've got team raw five on five for the women's match nia Jax, shana lana lacy and peyton they will be facing Bianca Belair, Ruby Riot, Liv Morgan, Bailey, and after all of those weeks of not being able to qualify, Natalia is on the women's SmackDown team. Well, that that was obvious that, that from from week one that that's how it was going to turn out. That she was going to complain and complain and complain, and then in the last week she would be on. I mean, I I I mean, no one told me that storyline, but I thought it, that storyline was really obvious. Because... What I think they should do is she should complain and complain and complain. And then finally she gets added because she won her match. But then on Sunday, something happens and she's laid out or something, and she's replaced by Rhea Ripley. That would be cool. That would be cool. I I I I, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind that. I mean, obviously Rhea Ripley probably would have been better, but you know, I mean, she should have been. Quite frankly, she should have been on the Raw team. The Raw Raw team needed her more than the SmackDown team does. SmackDown team is so much stronger than the Raw team, it's not even funny. I mean, as far as talent goes, I mean, I know that, like, Baszler and, and Nia or Jax are, are portrayed as, you know, real badasses. And, and, you know, Baszler is, you know, and Nia Jax is certainly large. Um, but, um, you know, for having a good match, not the best. And Shayna can have a good match if the other person knows how to work her style and is allowed to work her style. Um, and, and sometimes that happens. And we'll see here if it does or it doesn't. But, I mean, Natalia certainly can work with her. And um, I don't know. I mean, Bianca Belair has worked with her, so she can do it. Um, so, well, we'll see how the match goes. I'm not, like, I'm not, like, really, like, dying to see this one. I, I mean, I, I do think... I thought that the buildup on uh, SmackDown for um, Roman Reigns and Drew McIntyre was tremendous. So I, I'm, I'm, it's like I'm not like, what's the word? I'm not like like dying to see the match, but I'm interested in the match. Uh, I, I'm, you know, I kind of know you're gonna have to do a fluke finish, but I'm interested in how they do it. But um, and I know the match will be very good. Um, Sami Zayn and Bobby Lashley. I mean, they're basically portraying that like Bobby Lashley is going to kill him. So it's probably what's going to happen. And then the um, Street Profits and New Day. I mean, it's like um, they actually should have a really good match. And 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 it's it's new and it's fresh. It's never been done before. So I mean, that's that's cool. And um, you know, that's kind of like uh, and I, I mean, Oscar and Sasha Banks. I, I didn't think that their angle on Friday was the greatest, but I do think the match will be great. So, you know, I mean, uh, it's it's probably, uh, you know, the men's team, the men's match, um, there'll be enough stuff, and there there's a lot of talent. There's a really a lot of talent in that men's match. So I think that, uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good show. And so, um I mean, ramification-wise, with no championships at stake um, and really no value to who wins the elimination matches either, from that standpoint, from a ramification standpoint, it's like really not much to the show at all. But I think action-wise and everything like that will probably be a pretty good show. All right, I actually went back to check, and the exact verbiage was Adam Pierce said, Drew is on Raw and Jay is on SmackDown, and so I cannot sanction the match. But if you want the match, I'll make it. So they, they wanted the match and they made it. I guess it's unsanctioned was rule last week. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.